Evian coming into this game against Montpellier on a great run of form. They beat Lyon on match day four and followed that up with a 3-2 win at Ajaccio. Kevin Berigo scored a double in that game and with five overall, he's an unlikely top scorer in Ligue 1. A decent start for Jean Fernandez as Montpellier manager. He'll be hoping the visitors can move into the top half of the table with victory here. And it's Montpellier who get the game underway and the ball goes straight out of play. Montpellier unbeaten in three, having drawn at home to Reims last time out. And here is uh, Remy Cabela cutting in from the right. And that's a great ball that releases Victor Hugo Manzano. And how about that for a finish? 37 minutes gone, Montpellier have the lead. And it's Montano, the man who's got it, clipping the ball over Bertrand Lacay. Not the Colombian's second goal since his return to the club this summer. Evian looking to get back on terms before half time then. It's not cleared, it's a good back heel and it's Berigo. How did he miss the target from there? The man who scored twice in his past two matches couldn't find the net. Nicola Benazé with the back heel, Berigo clipping the post. And there goes the halftime whistle. Montano's goal that separates the sides. Montpellier, one goal to the good. And it will be Evian who get the second half underway. Jean Fernandez, the Montpellier coach, will certainly be happy with what he's seen so far. And here's a chance for Montpellier to break. And Evian a bit short in defense here. Cabela one on one. And it's 2 0 to the visitors. Eight minutes into the second half. Cabela working a yard of space and beating Lacay at his near post. It looks like Daniel Vass fancies this free kick and he's hammered it in. 16 minutes left and Vass, the man fell for the free kick, has got Evian right back into the game. Yusuf Sabali pushing forward again as Evian search for an equalizer. He's got the ball back and that's the equalizer. And it's Modu Sugu with it. 12 minutes left in the game. Evian have come back from the dead. And it's the substitute who's leveled it at two apiece. It looks like Siaka Tiene is in trouble with the referee for something he said. And that'll be a red card for the defender. He's just been substituted. 